I'm here in Oak Park today to look at this prairie style house on Fair Oaks on a beautiful block of historical homes and Alice McMahon is the agent selling the house. Alice, you were saying these two houses were built together? Yes, they were designed by E.E. E. Roberts for two daughters of Mr. Charles Schwerin back in 1908. And they are examples of complex rectilinear design. Now this porch you say was a screen porch originally? Originally it was a screen porch and in about uh, 2000 it was enclosed and these windows were custom built. So they do complement the original art glass windows in the interior but they're a little bit different. From what this, we'll find elsewhere in the house? Yes, this is the original. The red quarry tile is original. Some of the tiles broke over time and so there was some, they were taken out and a replacement perimeter tile put in. Is this board and batten ceiling original? Yes it is. Wonderful. Let's go in. I know there's a beautiful entryway. In the vestibule here you have uh, hand cut mosaic tiles. Beautiful. Using a lot of the natural earth colors you see a lot of green and tan and brown in most of these prairie style homes. And then we come into the actual entry. Now, I asked you about this floral motif, and you don't know what it represents. I don't. No. It's fascinating. But it's most beautiful. of the doors have the floral, the com combination of the floral with the chevron. Again, you see the rep repetition of the complex rectilinear and a lot of the geometric design, which is very typical of the prairie homes. There's a lot more detail in this house than you see in many of the other houses. This, there's also a lot more room in this entry than in many. This is a fantastic entry. In addition to that, the doors for both the music room and the library can be closed. And of course, originally, people would drape off their formal living room so this actually became another room because you can close off the back hall as well. Sure. Now back to these doors. These are terrific and these were, I think you told me they were original, you found them in the basement? Not these, the oh. ones that are in the dining room, but these are original and of course there's another one here. So these were in place? These were in place, They've yes. They've never been removed? Correct. And look at the condition. How did they manage to stay in this kind of condition? Well, it takes maintenance. Yeah. Uh, one has to, there's a, a crack here, for example, but one has to examine the windows and the doors on an annual basis. And then, fortunately, in Oak Park, we have some wonderful art glass people who can repair these. And they will either come on site or you can bring the doors to them. And this hearth, this is original? This that fireplace? is original. That fireplace has a gas line, but it has never been used because it does not have the proper chimney width. Ah. However, it could probably be a ventless gas fireplace, which they now have. Sure. So this is another thing. I guess the idea behind all this was that each room could sort of be its own little space because they have the openings but these wonderful doors but you don't you lose the idea of moving that way because they're yeah. because of the glass wow they make a beautiful curtain aren't they wonderful so of course this room he had painted woodwork as well Really? All of it was painted. So it all needed to be stripped. So it all needed to be stripped. These grid-shaped windows, though, are really interesting. I mean, they bring in a lot of light. They bring in a lot of light. Of course, that's a south exposure, which is great. And then more. Oh, these are, this is just amazing. Now, the room, that room back there mm -hmm. was originally an enclosed porch. So the main changes in the house occurred in this back space. The kitchen was done about 14 years ago, and these are Marvin windows. And so is the porch original, or is that new? No, that is not original either. That also was done back around 2000, 2001. Nice big space, but you were telling me about this garage. Because both this house and the house to the south were built for two sisters, they had a carriage drive that came from the street between the two homes, 
for the carriages to go into the garage, which is still one building. There that is a wall. Is one building. It's got green trim on one side, brown on the other, but it's one structure. Yes. There is a wall that separates the two sections, mm-hmm. and there's attic storage. As I said, this was an enclosed porch. There was a powder room here. There was a butler's pantry there. There was a narrow entry, a little breakfast nook, and the kitchen ran that way. When it was redesigned, the powder room was moved over to there. The entry to the basement was moved to the side of the house, and all this was opened up, and the floor was leveled so that it would live more as a great room. We still have sort of a butler's pantry area. We do. Because this was a stucco wall because that was a porch. So keeping this was kind of important. Nice. These are custom natural cherry cabinets. That suit the house very well? Yes. Custom designed. Big spacious bedroom wall. Yes. There are five bedrooms on this floor. And given that the house was built in 1908, it's pretty remarkable because three of them are enormous. Oh, wow. This was the original master. And of course, the, all the bedrooms have multiple windows. So you do get a lot of natural light even in the bedroom spaces. Yeah, I need to point out, it's raining outside. It's I a know. great day. Look at all this sun. Wow. Redesigned to be a master suite. It can be used as a family room. This is the original heart pine floor that was really? up here. Yes. It was refinished. And then you have another closet here. And there's also access to the attic storage there. So the problem we don't have in this old house is the usual old house problem with no closet. It's a totally amazing house in that regard. It's hard to fill all the closets. I bet. And where is this door? Where are we going now? You're going into the bathroom. Oh, nice. So when the bathroom was done, the windows were, tr- you know, try to keep with into the design of oh, this is the treetop view. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're under two skylights. Wow. Terrific. There's linen storage in here. And then you also have a separate shower. So that's kind of convenient. Oh, great. 